Hello everybody, this is Jules from the Apple Newsreel for the Photoshop CS6 public beta codename Superstition. In this video, I'll show you how to use the iris blur filter to obtain a miniature effect. For this video, I took a photo of the Arc de Triomphe down the Avenue Charles de Gaulle from the Défense. I'm going to try to blur the entire picture except the cars right here in the sunlight. To do that, I'll go into Filter, Blur, Iris Blur. Now if I zoom out a little, I'll notice that the Iris Blur interface is just basically this big oval. I'm going to go ahead and resize the oval a bit so it has a more precise fit over the area I want to focus. Um, you can change both the width and the height of the oval. In addition to that, you can rotate it. Now there's also this one extra dot over here, and what that does is adjust the corner radius of the oval. I'm just going to elongate my oval a bit. And you'll notice Photoshop previews live as you do this, as, as you adjust your focused area. It's not as precise as the, as the end result, but it, it does what it sounds like it does. I'm just going to move the oval down a bit, make it a bit bigger, try not to rotate it too much, and make the focus, the blur gradient, a bit softer. And there we go, that's about it. So after that's done, uh, you can wait for Photoshop to fully preview the filter. But that's not necessary, you can just click OK right up here, the blue button, and it's just going to chew through that. That might take a, 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 little, a little while, depending on the size of the image, um, how you configure the, the blur, and of course your hardware. So in this case it went pretty fast, uh, just a couple of seconds, and there we go. Not too bad. Now this picture was shot at 14 megapixels, so what you see in your browser is much smaller than the original. I've posted the original at this link. Uh, 